It's 937. We appreciate you being with us on this Friday's Live at 9. All 50 states are reopening in some capacity, even though the coronavirus is continuing to spread across the U.S. But while many folks can't wait to get out, not everyone is ready for it. And instead of challenging them on their concerns, we thought it might try to help now, it might help to try to understand. Dr. Carol Lieberman is a psychiatrist and best-selling author, and she studied this subject. She joins us live through video conferencing this morning. Carol, good to have you. Um, it seems to me that your research into this and just talking about it might help with the sort of attitude we're seeing on Facebook where people are actually making, some people are making fun of those who are wearing face masks and are showing some concern still about the coronavirus um, and vice versa. So maybe this will calm that noise down and help us with some empathy. What are some of the reasons psychologically why some people are just completely, you know, go for it and other people are like, I'm not ready yet. Yes, absolutely. Um, well, of course, the deepest reason is because um, we're still afraid that maybe it isn't as safe. You know, on the one hand, when we were told we had to stay in, we didn't want to do that. We didn't want anyone to tell us what to do in that sense. But now that we the doors are open, um, we're rethinking it and kind of wondering, well, is it safe? And in fact, there was just a, a, a county in California uh, just today where they had opened and um, they hadn't had any cases before, 30,000 people, and now all of a sudden they have four. So some people are rethinking it. Um, it also is there's a fear of going out into the world. We don't know what the new normal is going to be. And you were mentioning, you know, some people are wearing face masks and staying six feet apart and some people aren't. There's a lot of contentiousness uh, in the outside world these days, people shaming other people, blaming other people. Um, you know, it's it's a bit hostile. That's another reason why some people are kind of uh, a bit shell-shocked when they go outside. And then, of course, there are things like, uh, you know, most people, we, we laugh about it, but a lot of people have been eating a lot of comfort food while we've been <laughs> indoors. And we don't want people to see us uh, with the, you know, COVID-19, the 19 pounds that we've gained. <laughs> have you been looking at my windows? I went to the gym yesterday for the first time after trying all week to get there. Man, it was an experience. So it's part fear and it's part I don't know, embarrassment sounds like, part not wanting to deal with the conflict. Um, are there just some more introverted people who really are kind of glad that this is our time? We finally have a legitimate excuse to not go to that party. Well, yes, there's that. I mean, a lot of people have found that the, even though they may not have expected this, that they really like staying home. Like for example, uh, they like working from home. They don't want to go back into work and uh, see the stale coffee and their grumpy boss. Uh, some people have found that they really like this closeness that they were able to have with their family, with their partner, with their kids. And with that, it's sort of one extreme or the other. Some uh, couples are, you know, thinking of divorce. It was too much closeness. Um, then, you know, there's also uh, people have started, love, some people start started to love sleeping in, binge watching television, and have started projects, whether it's writing a book or cleaning out their closets, mm -hmm. and they haven't finished, you know, they don't want to, <laughs> what do you mean we're opening up, I, I still have all this work to do. Um, so that's part of it. And then an important part is we're finding that uh, isolation and they did studies on this before coronavirus, even just isolation itself could cause physical and psychological problems. So some people are realizing that in fact, they are having anxiety, they're having depression, uh, PTSD perhaps, and so they don't feel like they're ready psychologically to go back out into the world. Yeah. Well, it's good that they recognize it because that is the first step to uh, to getting some help, and there's a lot of virtual help out there. Thank you so much for giving us some insight into human psychology. It's interesting that we, when we're told we have to stay home, we start pushing back, but now we're like, well, you can go out. We're like, well, do I really want to? Thanks so much. Appreciate it. We will link to your website.